All right, welcome to today's Revit tutorial. In today's Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw in a haunch like this by using plates. So if you've been using Revit for some time, you might realize that certain steel connections are not available in Revit. So this is one example right over here. I will show you how to draw in this connection using steel plates. But before I show you how to do that, I'd like you to hit the like button and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. So now let's get started. So I'll just quickly delete these plates over here. And let's proceed to the Steel tab. And click on Plate over here. So first things first, before we begin drawing anything, let's set the work plane. So click on it over here and pick, pick a plane and OK. So to draw in the end plate, I will select this flange over here. And now we'll just draw in the end plate like so. So I can adjust the depth of the plate over here. So in this example, I'll be using 560 millimeters here. And the width would be one column width over here, like so. And I'll click on finish edit mode. And I can see my plate over here in 3D. You can change the thickness of your plate just by changing this value over here. Right now it's set to 10 millimeters. So if I were to change it to let's say uh, 20 millimeters, you will see the effect almost instantly. So I'll just change it back to 10. So now that we've already drawn in the end plate over here, let's draw in the haunch over here. So back to the plate drawing tool, we need to set a new work plane. And I will select this web over here. And I will draw in the haunch starting from somewhere over here in the middle. And I will edit this later on, so I'll just quickly place it down for now. And I can see it in the east elevation over here. So let's adjust things a bit. So let's do this. This. And I will quickly adjust the haunch based on the existing one. And I'll just click on finish edit mode here. And this is the plate over here. I guess I need to extend the end plate down by a little bit. So just go back to the north elevation. Let's make this 700 millimeters over here. So before I begin drawing in the final part for this haunch, which is actually a plate like this over here, I will center this such that the center of this plate coincides with the center of this column over here. So I've opened up a plan view, and I can't see where the plate is, so I'll just select one of these beams over here and under override graphics and view choose by category and choose a transparency of 100% and click on OK and you notice you can see these haunches over here and I've already found where the plate is which is over here so before I move this plate to the center over here I'd like to change the view scale to 1 to 20 so that I can see things a whole lot clearer so I'll select the plate and center it to the middle over here. Now let's draw in the final part of this haunch over here. So go back to the steel tab, click on plate, and let's select a new plane. So pick a new plane and OK. And I'll pick the thickness of this haunch web over here. So I'll just select point over here and just quickly draw it out. Or better yet, just use the rectangle drawing tool and select this point here and expand out. And from the plan view, we can adjust things. Adjust it accordingly to the flange of your beam. Or if you can't see a good angle, then just Use a new section view or a plan view like this. Click on finish edit mode over here. 
it looks like it's a bit too long over here so you can just drag it shorter a little bit and there we go this is our haunch over here for our column to beam connection over here and that's it for today's Autodesk Driver tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial, like this tutorial, share this tutorial, and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.